Hello everyone, Jeff here to talk about Treasury Bond Futures Contracts. This says answer these questions about the settlement of one Treasury Bond Futures Contract. The settlement price is quoted as something, something, something. Express this in dollars and cents per $100 of face value. So one thing you may need to do is take a quote, which in a homework assignment would probably just be given to you, and say what that means in terms of dollars and cents. So it's asking you if you can read a quote. For the purposes of this example, we are going to actually look up a quote so you can see that in real life, what a quote looks like and then what it means. So we are going to Google Treasury Bond Futures. And the first link is to the CME group, which is promising. And here it is, U.S. Treasury Bond Futures Quotes. We'll just pull this first one here that uh, it is currently August 2014, and this one has an expiration of September 2014. And its quote is 139 apostrophe 17. 139.17. Sometimes you'll see 139-17. And the key to this quote is that treasury bond futures are quoted in dollars and 30 seconds of a dollars. So 139-17 means 139 and 17 30 seconds per $100 of face value. If you ever forget that and you can't find it in the text, remember you can always go to the source, contract specifications, price quote, uh, points and one thirty second of a point and there's even an example here one thirty four sixteen represents one thirty four and sixteen over thirty two so here we have one thirty nine and seventeen over thirty two seventeen over thirty two is point five three one two five so this is one thirty nine point five three one two five for every one hundred dollars of face value in the next part of the question it says the short position wishes to deliver a bond with conversion factor 1.0909. Okay, I did just completely make up that number. We aren't going to look up conversion factors for particular bonds, but I want to talk about what is going on here. A treasury bond futures contract, when you are short, is the promise to deliver a treasury bond with a maturity greater than 15 years and a yield of 6%. The trouble with that is there may not be a treasury bond that has a yield of 6% exactly. So we allow the short position to deliver any bond with a maturity greater than 15 years, and then we adjust it so that it ends up yielding 6% when it's delivered to the long position. So the short can deliver a 7%. Uh, bond and we just fiddle with the price that the long position has to pay so that it's as if a 6% bond were delivered. Th that adjustment is made with the conversion factor. There's another small adjustment we have to make which has to do with accrued interest um, having to do with the fact that when you buy a bond you do have to pay the seller of the bond the amount of interest that is accrued up to the point you are buying it so we need to find the amount of cash that's going to be received by the short position when they deliver $100,000 of these bonds. So there is an equation that we use, which is that we take the settlement price and we multiply by the conversion factor. And then we add in the accrued interest. And then we adjust it for the total amount that's being delivered. In our case, we'll bring up the calculator here, we take the settlement price 139.53125, we multiply by the conversion factor 1.0909, we then add the interest that is accrued, and we get 154 and some change here. So this would be for $100 in face value of the bond. The payment is actually going to be $154 and some change. Uh, the question here is saying that the short position is delivering $100,000 worth of bonds, not 100. 
dollars worth of bonds, but a thousand times more than that. So we do need to multiply our final answer by a thousand here. For delivering $100,000 worth of these bonds, the short position is going to receive $154,214 and some change.